This OIFC TV adventure is brought to you by the Ocean Isle Fish Company, located on Ocean Isle Beach at the base of the bridge. Come be a part of the show and enjoy on-the-water dining while the fishing fleet offloads fresh catch daily. New sushi bar now open. The Wing and Fish Company, located on Main Street in the historic district of downtown Chalote, providing the area's largest selection of craft beers, chicken wing flavors, and fresh seafood from the OIFC fleet. The Swamp Park in Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina, featuring an intense and challenging nature-oriented zipline and adventure park. New for 2019, Get Dirty ATV Tours. Freeman Boatworks, redefining limits. And these other fine sponsors.
welcome to a new installment, OIFC TV. My co-host, Captain Barrett. We are out here on the high seas. Today we're fishing off of Oregon Inlet for the famed monster wicked bluefin tunas. <clears throat> we're back, baby. And I can't think of a better way to get this thing started. We'll get all the dolphins yeah, right behind dolphins. us. We got life. Can't think of a better way to get this thing started than in probably the most nautical adventure that you can experience on the East Coast, I'd say, maybe about anywhere. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's not calm, um, and we're fishing for the biggest fish that swims in the ocean. Yes, we are. So specifically, we're fishing off of Oregon Inlet. We are fishing an area, a uh, popular fishing area known as the Point. Um, and this is where the Labrador and the Gulf Stream currents meet in this area. We're fishing in about five knots of current right now, which is flowing to the north. And we've got about, what's that right there? We got about 20 knots of wind pushing to the south. And thus we have these big seas. It's a big shark right there. Fish. Yeah, yeah. Lots big lots of life. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. another shark right there. So so a lot of life. A lot of life out here. And uh, that's what we're here for to try to catch some bluefin tuna. We've got three lines set. You don't want to put a huge spread out because when you get a fish, you gotta act quick. Yeah. But um well I think I remember when we first started our television careers. Back on No Limits Fishing, our very first adventure was a tuna tuna trip. It was. So uh, now that we've kind of rebranded to OIFC TV, this is a fitting a fitting intro into it. But um, I mean, tell tell me. I mean, you've been doing this all winter. This is my first trip up this year. I mean, what's it, are we in a typical situation here? Weather, temperature, everything? Yes, this is this is typical. We're in we're fishing a temperature edge. It goes from 49 to 74 degrees. We're fishing just on the hot side. We're in a lot of current. It's pretty much always rough up here. Very <laughs> rare that it's not, so that's quite typical. Why are the tuna here? Why are they supposed to be here? They they come here February and March, and uh, they say they these are Mediterranean fish, and they come for the food. And um, like they are like Mexican, Chinese, yeah, or what, yeah. what, what kind of food are they? What are they eating? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what the heck they're eating. I see them eating. Uh, hell, they eat anything. To be that big, you gotta eat anything. Yeah, but I, understand. I yeah. think they eat a lot of a fish called a file fish, and and uh, hell, we've seen them with dolphin in their stomachs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think if they can catch it, they're gonna eat it. So. Um, but anyway, the other thing we're doing that's different, new, is this is our new boat. This is my very first trip on my new boat. This is a 37 Freeman, and uh, we've got quad Yamaha outboards on it, and this is trip number one for this boat. So hopefully we'll break it in. No pressure, no yeah, pressure. No, no pressure, so. All right, well, let's, uh, let's try to find something. Yeah, let's see if we can get a bite. I'm right here in the temperature edge right now. As you can see, it gets nice and crappy right when you're in the middle of it. Stay tuned. Got a moon. Kind of. That's going to be either a short or a yellow fan. Oh, there he goes. He's mad now. That sounds a little better. Might be a keeper there. Still there. Is he on? He's there. And the crowd goes finally. Way off. Stay there. Stay there. Hold that one off. Or... Just, uh, here Had one, lost one. That gonna leave us a few today. Hey. Uh, I'll leave you all you need. I wonder what happened. That act was acting like a smaller fish. What the heck. Swing and a miss. First time for everything. I think that was a yellow fin. He pulled the hooks on him. Ah, you get a blue fin bite. You're not usually, they don't usually pull the hook. That one didn't have quite the horsepower. Yeah. Turn 
clicker off. Wow. Turn the clicker off. You turn, you, you keep yours on, Barrett. Dumping it. Absolutely dumping it. That, my friends, is a bluefin tuna. Oh boy. Ah. About to get serious here. You still tight? Oh yeah. You tell me if I need to give her gas, all right? Ah, we're good. So as a boat driver, I gotta keep an eye. I gotta keep an eye on him, that fish turns just like that. So I gotta keep an eye on him to, uh, to help him keep the line tight until the fish settles in. This right now is obviously stretched way out. You good tight, Barrett? Oh yeah. He can just leave it right there. Yeah, so we're losing line. So right here at the beginning, a lot of, a lot of movement from the fish. In, out, in, out. So I'm, I'm staying slow ahead, but I really want to stop if I can. You start to see the line typically will plane down as the fish begins to settle and go deep. So I think you gotta love that run, man. That's what it's all about. That is. I'm better to get out of the this rod holder. Uh, that's up to you. I usually keep it there. I don't like it swinging around. No, you don't. Well, you can go into solid one if you don't like that. Oh, I just fit. I'm just gonna sit still. Hang in. So, here, I'll come over here next to Barrett so we can watch him catch this fish. Oh, you better crank like a top gun. Uh-oh, you gotta give a cap. Gotta give a cap. Get away from the fish, get away from the fish. There he is. Line going back out. See that quick direction change? Shot at us and then turn right around. Woo! I'll stay near the throttle for right now. So, what we do up here, oh big wave, water coming. Woo! So what we do up here, we're fishing in thousands of feet of water. We fish bluefin in a lot of different scenarios. Back home, when they come in, we can be fishing in you know, less than 100 feet. So the way the fish fight is totally different. Here, they're going to run like crazy, but then they go down. Um, but anyway, back home, heck, we used to catch them in shallow water. That fishery, we used 30s and 50s just because you can always track to the fish. But I've had to go to 80 wides to hear that fish dumping more lines. We've had to go to 80 wides out here just because the fish has unlimited depth. And, um, and these fish, can, they'll spool you. They will, they will take every ounce of your, every inch of your line. So we've gone to 80s. But got him off. I mean, I'm fine, but you're welcome to do it. Isn't it? What? Uh, he's up and down now. It's all bare. Question is, do you want me to get the harness out for you? Oh yeah. You want to do some stand up? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. All right. I get the feeling I might be here for a little while. power is incredible. We say 18 pounds of drag, 20 pounds of drag, that maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but literally that's all you can do with two hands to pull that off the reel. This fish is taking it like it's nothing. Nothing. The proverbial BB gun with a bear deal here. Hey, Rube. Reach in there and grab a rope out. All right, Barrett. Here you go. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I get a little closer. What? I'm going to get on the mono and then I'll go. Oh, come on, man. 
Ah, are you too far for that? <laughs> Pump her up there to about 22, 24 pounds. You see that line? So we've probably got, we've probably got uh, 100 yards. It's probably a thousand feet of line out right now. Fish is just digging down. Where you got to remember, we're in about four to five knots of current. We're going that way. Fish gets down in that hot water. Just motors. See what I'm talking about with the smaller reels? You can't chase them, but so far yeah. they go down. Yeah, you have a problem. You can't go anywhere. It's not like you can run after them. I know it. Let's make them tap. A lot of pressure, man. That's so much pressure on that line. That's the, the thing about this fishing is your tackle. There's so much to learn about making connections. I think that's the biggest thing I've learned is about, oh, oh man, so much pressure on that fish. Hell, he's a thousand feet away, taking drag, taking 25 pounds of drag. And one of the biggest things that I've had to learn through this fishing is the connection, the crimps, namely. I mean, that is where you will have a problem. And there is, we could definitely have a problem here today, but we, the boat swings up in these giant swells that yanks back on that line. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. But I don't really like to add a lot of drag, get up over 30 pounds until we get the fish within 100 yards or so. So, fish is moving around a lot now. Get him, Cap Ferret. All right, release. You ready? What? Lost the wave second. Hold the rock. Are we still tight? We're still Thank tight, you. you just gotta whine. Definitely still there. Come on. I can't that was there, man. You got a crank. Real. He's there. Trust me, he's there. He's out. He's very big. He's very smart. But he's gone under the boat. My God, he's gone under the boat. Tell me when you're good. Let me help. Yeah. I never got one. You only went for about 10 seconds. There's a there bite. Got one right here. Got him on. Doubled up. That's why I left it out there. Two lines, two fish. Always leave one out. You're at the button. You want to be? Yeah, that's fine. We'll let that one know we're serious. Man, the whole chair just moved. <laughs> that's what they. That's what they do, man. Gonna have to move the boat. Barrett, you need to cut back your drag off. Back your drag and go over there that swivel bay. You need to move the curtain. Okay. Let me move this curtain right here.
fun, Brian. Got the boat. Can't see it. Can't see it. He's under the boat. What's happened now, Ruben? We're good. Got him peeling off down each side. Hit the one in the middle. These are the first two fish hooked up on this boat. Oh. Uh, I might have to go help her over here in a minute. No fish! So, just to recap, we were patiently trolling, waiting for opportunity. We had one yellowfin tuna bite that we pulled off. We redeployed. A couple minutes later, we got another long, uh, that was actually our medium rigger bike. Bluefin tuna hooked up by Captain Rube over there. Then I left my other long rigger out. And while we were maneuvering on this fish, bam, double header. You can't catch two fish if you don't have a second line in the water. Dare I put the third one back out? Dare I put the third one back out? I got one more rod. I think I can do it. There's a lot of turning going on. Let's get close to it. Yep. How much footage can you get of fish taking line off of the Royals? <laughs> <laughs> the mono on that one for a minute Barrett. These fish don't play. So I see that fish, he's circling, but the distance of the rod away is giving him some, some latitude. Always the tail of the tuna, if you can watch that rod tip and see it, do that slow pulse. If you're fishing, I don't care what you're fishing with or for, you see that rod tip doing that, it's some type of tuna. False albacore, bonita, black fin, uh oh, we're having to make a move here. Fish must have gone too far under the boat. Stretch that out so I can have some. It's gonna be the end game here. Pretty close. We got deep color. 
We got good color. Oh, pinwheeling. Oh, what a tank. Barrett said you got to put him in the boat, Ruth. Mind you, this was the second fish we hooked. The first one, tell you what, still out there. These things fight a lot harder than the ones in the shallow water. A big fish. I mean, that's going to be, I guarantee, a 90 plus inch fish. Be ready to put it neutral. Oh. What was that? Ow. That land. You back in the rod holder, Barrett? I, I've got it in real like you can drive. Right. Oh, back it. Neutral room, neutral room. It's freaking. He got me. Why, why do we gotta go in gear? I was trying to get him to swim beside the boat. You know, like on TV, man. I see the TV guys. You know, they swim beside the boat. I'm trying to, trying to look good. Yeah. What a fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. There he is. Golly. Come on, fish. Turn the corner. There he is. Oh, we got one. About a 90. Arr. Butterball, look how fat he is. Yeah. Oh. All right, put her in forward for me, Bert. I'm in gear. I'm on light drag. All right, put it on autopilot. Hit the very bottom. Yeah. Yeah, about, about close to 400, 350, 400. All right. Awesome. Oh, I dropped my skirt. Dang, you it. Hold my skirt and drop my skirt. Woo! Fish away. Catch and release. Giant bluefin tuna. Oh, gone at the big loss there was I dropped my skirt head. Oh, well. Hey, we got another one on over there on the other side, by the way. 